Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. With my wife and kids, we run an antique shop in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, filled with some of the most unique items we can find. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. From home, honey. Hey everybody, look, no hands and no driver. That's because I'm in the back seat today. Um, I'm being chauffeured by Charlie, who you've met before on videos. And this time we also have Melissa's brother, James, who I'll introduce you to a second in a second. You've never met James before. So today is James's inaugural video after four years. Uh, we are on the hunt today for some hubcaps for my old truck. And uh, the reason why Charlie's with me is because uh, the man's got some old trucks. So we're gonna go over to his place and poke around, see what he's got and hopefully find some treasure. One nice thing about Charlie's place. Oh, there's an old tow truck, an old GM. That's yours, right? Yeah. And there should be some hubcaps laying on the deck. They might be kind of... Okay. I'll put the window up. We'll go check it out. Charlie is digging through the back of the tow truck. See what he's got. Is that a GM? No, it's an old Ford one. Oh yeah, that's the right size. And everybody meet James. So you are Melissa's younger brother. Yeah. You're not the youngest though. I know. Today, uh, what do you do for work, James? I'm a machinist. Well, I'm an instructor. I instruct at the Northern Alberta Institute of Technology. We train machinists. Professor James. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's dig around and see. There's a couple there. If I'm not worried about condition, there's two there. That's the right size, but. It's shabby. Make that fork go faster. Oh. <laughs> Might resell. Hans was saying. <laughs> Let all them Fords burn to the ground, and then you're a Chevy man. I'm yeah, surprised yeah. the two of you get along. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhat. Well, there's going to be, I have a feeling that amongst all the stuff around here, there's going to be a good set of hubcasts. We'll keep poking around, see what there is. Are we Are we going to walk it, or are we going to... Oh, back, back in the truck? Okay, we're going to back in the truck. We're getting uh, the full tour here today. Tour or something. Did you lay the gravel down here recently? It feels like you've done some work. Uh, I'm always putting gravel down. Yeah, it keeps the road nice going through the property. Feel the dreams. Hard. Yeah, I remember one of these cars had hubcaps all piled in the back. It was either in the trunk or... It was back seat, I think. But... Was it back seat? Is this a station wagon? Yeah. You know, it's harder and harder to find station wagons. <clears throat> 67 Palo wagon with the wood paneling. Well, I don't. Those are uh, what hay forks or what? Uh, they're for chisel plow. Chisel plow. Me, yeah, I'm not a farmer. That's what I get for trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, I knew there were farmy type things for scraping stuff. Yeah, that one, not that one. I only had 200 years of farmers in my family, and it ended with my dad and I. You can barely even see Charlie. He's like a wild beast foraging going, through the woods. Can't even hear him going through the trees. No, I, it's like a, he's like he could sneak up on us in a hurry. I'd be like, "Hey, look, there's still a hood ornament on this Dodge," and Charlie would just appear. <laughs> nope. This is uh, a lot thicker than last time I was out here. I don't even know where. Look, he's just disappeared through all this. Okay, I'm gonna go back out in the clearing. This one's new. I don't remember this sit sitting here. Rambler. Some of you watching might be wondering why on earth do people keep all these old cars around? Well, if you have the space and uh, you like old cars, I guess, or if you're fix fixing them up, it's handy to have some around for parts, just like what we're doing today. Looking for hubcaps it is recycling. Um, they could be scrapped and turned into something, but when you need specifically a certain type of part, it's handy to have these old cars lying around somewhere so you can grab bits off them. 58 Buick back there. James, you should tell Chantel that you found your next ride yeah. while we were out here. 
keeps going and going and going. Yeah. I think we found your hubcap car, the 62 Chev. No, but that's a good assortment of hubcaps in there. But wasn't the trunk full too, if I recall? I don't remember. Let's go around to the other side. Yeah, Plymouth. Oh yeah, there's one. <laughs> Actually, you know, a little paint. If I could find a, a couple more in half decent shape, I could just paint them up. I'll go check the other side. See, you never know. dig on this side over here I'm worried if I open this door they're gonna all come cratering out of there yeah I recognize some of these hubcaps I don't remember what car it was I had oh maybe the the Valiant had that same type of hubcap oh yeah this is gonna be a hot mess if I try and open that up try going in through this door Well, you found one. There's actually a lot of good 1960s hubcaps in here. Like somebody's probably watching and thinking, man, I need one of those for my car. Is the trunk full too? See, this was a good find wherever you found this car. Look, this is that's a nice, nice spinner. That's a nice hubcap. Yeah. There is a, a Ford right there, but it's a, it's not a deep dish. Oh, it's quite a racket. Uh, no, nothing in there. This is a five window cab though. Yeah. I have three, I think, five window cabs. Is this a one ton? This is, yeah. Cool old truck. This is like what Jason and I built the back on. If you look back in my episodes, you'll see. Nice old truck. So far, we found possibly three hubcaps. But none of them in super great shape. But that's all right. Making some progress. Oh, is there a set of four? Things things like this one here. Oh. Oh, that's neat, though. We got old moon dishes and stuff. Oh yeah. Poverty caps, dog dishes. Fire goes in there. Camaro. All these trucks, if they were restored, like, probably, you know, $30,000 truck fixed up, but it cost you forty to fix it. You're looking for what's not in there. Turbo, Daytona Turbo with the T-tops. It looked like there was almost like a, an import car of some kind over here. What is it? Some newer stuff. Oh, it's another Dodge. It's a Stealth. Oh, here's a Ford truck couple of them. If I'm not lucky, maybe they'll have some decent hubcaps on them or in the back. Oh, there is a hubcap right there. I found a hubcap. Now I just got to see if I can pry it off. Yeah, it's the right size too. It's a big one. Don't see any in the back, but got one on the front. Earlier Chevy, 67 to 72 C10 kind of body style. Actually, it looks, looks half decent. 
heavy half. So far, we've got a few hubcaps are getting closer. Yeah, look at this. So he was using it as a mud truck. Does it still run? Yeah, it's a big block Chevy. And then you got a little rabbit sitting here. Yeah, that little rabbit's in decent shape. It needs a clutch. That rabbit's actually, looks like it's darn near rust free. Yeah. Good color, sort of the forest green. It does. It's not bad though. A guy trying to sell me one of these in a diesel. Apparently the diesel uh, golfs are a pretty decent little vehicle. It's a rabbit. A rabbit, yeah. yeah. So that just needs a clutch. That's all that was wrong with it when it was parked. Huh. See, it's got a broken mirror on it now. This is bent in, maybe. Oh, the glass is busted on that. Oh, is it? Oh. That's pretty incredible. We have ended up off road <laughs> off the beaten track and there's a monster hill coming up it doesn't look that big out the window but it's basically like a ski hill and we're going to take it in this chev here <laughs> are we going all the way up yeah oh man yeah worst case scenario we just have to drive backwards really really fast oh glad i'm in the back seat <laughs> i'm gonna put my seat belt on just in case we get airborne okay well <laughs> I'll be the one in the... You got her in uh, four-wheel drive? Oh, yeah, she wouldn't climb her otherwise. All I can see out the front window is sky. I actually have to I'm make an effort. Right to the floor. Where, is it floored right now? Yeah. Oh, it's doing pretty good. <laughs> oh, I feel like a human bobblehead. <laughs> I'm not the only one. Walk home. I mean, it's pretty. <laughs> This, did we, okay, James, wow. did we ever make Charlie mad enough for him to leave us in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, you two. Tractor. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. Well, I guess the wild ride in the country with Charlie was worthwhile because I did find the hubcaps I need for the truck. Uh, so head home and put them on. Okay, well, she's a little dusty after being in the country. But look, I have hubcaps. And they're the right vintage for this truck. A lot of effort goes into owning an old vehicle, but you know what? It definitely helps to have the right type of wheel cover, of hubcap on your vehicle. Makes all the difference in the world. So I'm gonna leave it parked for now. Um, it's been a wonderful vehicle so far. Since we got the fuel pump figured out on it, it's been absolutely fantastic and extremely useful. Um, it was worth the adventure with Charlie and Melissa's brother James to go out there to the field to go find this stuff. I, my stomach is still recovering from that trip. That was a pretty bumpy road. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching today's little update video. We'll see you all soon and take care and bye for now.